Siegfried Engelmann on individual learning styles. These are constructs that have been made up by, um, by like preference and delectation, not by information that these types exist or that they are uh, discriminable. There have been lots of studies that have tried to develop programs for visual learners and for auditory learners, kinesthetic learners, and other types. They've all failed. That the program that is the best is the best for all, period. Direct instruction programs have been used in several experiments of this uh, design, and they always come out on top. How can you do an oral a reading program? Kids have to recognize visual signals and symbols. They have to understand visual relationships about going from left to right. Uh, and they have to understand that there are relationships, auditory relationships, or spoken relationships for these symbols and for some of the things they do. But much of what they're doing is strictly visual because guess what? Reading is visual. Uh, so so that, that, that is just a, a, a bum analysis. But the worst part of the analysis is that there are such learners. How could you be an auditory learner and learn reading? Let me think. You can't because unless you have the logically necessary visual components in your head about what those letters are, how they're shaped, how to construct them, and what sound they make, you are not going to be a real hot reader.